The FBI is issuing a warning. Thousands of boys are facing financial extortion online, and we are told they are often feeling like there is no way out. West Jews Anika Hope asked an FBI special agent for his advice for parents. So Anika, how does this happen to young boys? Yeah, the special agent we spoke to said boys will often get a message on social media from someone who says they're their age, another girl maybe who goes to their high school or lives nearby, but then it turns out that person is a predator. They're, they're now getting the attention uh, that they're longing for, and then the communications begin in the pictures then uh, where the, the subject starts asking for more pictures of, of the person in risque uh, um, positions. FBI Special Agent Kevin Kaufman says young boys think they're sending photos to peers just like them, but when it turns out it's a predator, that explicit photo becomes blackmail, harassment to get more and to get money. For the last two years, it's been targeting males. It's generally uh, teenage males ranging in from like 11 to 16 years old. Of the around 3,000 victims of financial sextortion just last year under 18 years old, the majority were boys. The FBI is calling it a global crisis. It's very, uh, it's very difficult to tell a 14 or 15 year old male um, that, hey, you've been sending, uh, sending nude photos to another male or, hey, you've been sending uh, nude, uh, nude photos to someone that doesn't exist. The impact has been devastating. Kaufman says he's seen online crimes create a real world impact. Children are particularly vulnerable. The girl that was a straight A student turned into uh, where she, her grades went down. Uh, she became very, uh, she was outgoing prior to the incident, became very secluded, would not leave her room, uh, would not leave the house. And this is all done over online. The FBI says these crimes were tied to more than a dozen suicides last year alone. They want everyone to help change that. They you know, feel trapped, they can't get out, uh, and, and they think that the only way they can get out is through suicide. Um, this is something that I think uh, that talking with your child and having that conversation, making sure that your, your child understands that you're there for them and that you can help them. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, they provide support services for families who are going through this, like counseling, crisis intervention, and they can even connect families who are going through similar experiences. And we're going to put the tip line for the FBI online at WESH.com. In Orange County, Anika Hope, WESH 2 News.